Welcome to NetTuts, your best source for high quality web development tutorials and screencasts. In this quick tip, we're going to take a look at HTML5 local storage. So in about 60 seconds, we're going to build a very, very basic to-do uh, app online, but it's going to work and it's, we're going to have local storage so that it remembers what you typed in when you refresh the page. So it'll be a good proof of concept. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a header, h1, my simple to-do list header and now let's create a section and within here we're just going to simply create a UL and this will house our to-do items okay so if I go to preview pretty much what you would expect right okay so we're gonna do a couple things the first thing is I want to be able to target this so let's just give it some generic ID for now like edit now next watch what happens when I set content editable equal to true we can actually edit the list items within this element. So if I click preview, now I can change this to whatever I want. I can even add more if I want. I can remove them entirely. I can do anything I want. However, obviously when we refresh the page, you'll see it defaults back to what we originally had. So that's no good. So we need to find a ways to remember this. So you could use cookies or you could, could use a database. We're going to use HTML5 local storage to accomplish this. So I'm going to be uh, using jQuery here, but it's really not required. I'm just using it because this is a quick tip and I don't want to paste in the code for, um, you know, add event and things like that to complicate it. We'll just use jQuery, but you can certainly uh, use this quite easily with JavaScript. So the first thing is listen for when the user types in something into one of these list items and maybe clicks off of it or taps away. We can listen for that with uh, the blur event. So let's first create a var edit equals document dot get element by ID edit and that's just targeting the UL right there and we're going to say get edit jQuery edit dot blur is function and when you do we're going to say uh, and we could even pass in like if window dot local storage and that means if the browser understands that then do it otherwise maybe throw an alert I'm not gonna worry about this this is a very simple example we'll do local storage and it would be assumed that you're on a, a, a applicable applicable browser so local storage dot set item uh, we're gonna give this any value we want like a var I'll call it to do data and the value is going to be this dot inner HTML or in this case it would be uh, li sample close li okay so now when the page loads we're going to determine whether uh, this to do item has been set and if it is if it has, we're going to populate this UL with that information. Otherwise, we'll just use whatever is there by default. So if local storage dot get item, notice get item to do data, then we have something to work with. And we'll say edit dot inner HTML is going to be equal to local storage dot get item to do data. So let's save that. And now if I go to preview, I can um, Go ahead and get rid of that. If I go to preview, I can type in something to do brush teeth, go to mall, record video, fight in comments. And now if I go back to code and I essentially refresh the page, it remembers it. And the reason is because of local storage. So for instance, if I remove this entirely and I preview, it's all going to be gone. So by using local storage, we can uh, force it, the browser to remember what we typed in. I can change this as much as I want. If I were to alert out uh, edit.innerHTML, it would just be a list of list items containing these values. I can remove them entirely, come back, okay? So go to mall, go to movie, and if I go to code and come back, it's going to remember it. So remember, this isn't going to work uh, across multiple browsers because you're using a browser's um, local storage, but it is going to work within modern browsers that uh, take advantage of this. So we'll definitely talk more in the comments, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye.